Cross it! Hey everybody, Dr. O here. So in this video we're going to talk about the two types of dense connective tissue. So the reason that dense connective tissue is called that is it has more collagen fibers, so it's more dense than loose connective tissue. There's two types here that we're going to talk about, dense regular and dense irregular connective tissue. Let's go ahead and dive in. So here's the key difference. Dense regular connective tissue has a bunch of collagen fibers, which is why it's dense, but they're all running in the same direction. So this makes dense regular connective tissue super strong, but in only one direction. So the two key examples are going to be ligaments and tendons. So a ligament connects one bone to another, a tendon connects a muscle to a bone. So just some examples like I have the, the tendon on my biceps here is really strong but in only one direction. If I relax my arm I can wiggle that tendon back and forth. Uh, ligaments, right, you think about your knee ligaments, your knee can move four different directions, forward, backwards, inside, outside. So you have four key ligaments because they're only really strong in one direction, right? The anterior cruciate ligament will only help keep your leg from shifting anterior, won't do anything in other directions. So Ligaments and tendons, because their dense, regular connective tissue, are really strong but in only one direction. Compare that or contrast that to dense, irregular connective tissue. So the fibers, the collagen fibers, are running all over the place in different directions. So that means that dense, irregular connective tissue is not near as strong in any one direction, but it offers resistance and strength in all directions. So you're going to see this like the, the walls, the arterial walls are going to have dense, irregular connective tissue, the capsules around some of our organs, think liver and kidneys, those are going to, that's probably my favorite example, those are dense irregular connective tissue. There's some of this in the dermis of the skin. Um, the, speaking of skin, the skin around your bones, which is called the periosteum, would be dense irregular connective tissue. The skin around cartilage, called the perichondrium, would be dense irregular. But I'd say the capsules around your organs and arterial walls are the two key examples here. Just remember they're not, it's not as strong in any one direction as dense regular connective tissue, but it offers strength and resistance in all directions. All right, so those are the two types of dense connective tissue, dense regular and dense irregular. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.